Hi, someone asked uh, about ClickFunnels and ClickFunnel type websites and if that can be replicated with Bubble. Uh, answer is yes. Um, ClickFunnels actually, I mean, I'm not sure 100% what's on the back end, but with Bubble, you could always build whatever kind of reporting you really want. And the idea with ClickFunnels is you're basically just grabbing leads, right? So if you want to build a lead page or you want to have an offering, this is the type of thing you can easily build out with Bubble, um, allow people to download documents off your site too. Uh, so what you'd want to do is basically, I just went to a website here that just shows examples of ClickFunnels. So they're pretty simple pages and they're usually, hey, here's an offering. Um, and you can easily build out a page like that. A lot of times people will use these as their index, as a landing page, which where they'll just send a whole bunch of people to and they'll make a side page. They just, they divert their marketing there. And what the idea of this is either to drive, to get people into an offer um, for like a website or for a product, or you're trying to just gather leads so you can follow up with them and again, sell them a product. So a lot of times you see these used for lead generation or just to generate uh, sales around some specific offering. So if you look at these, they're very salesy pages. It's, hey, look at this, you get a discount. These are the people we work with. There's a timer on some of them. Uh, timers work out pretty well on these kind of sites from my understanding. I actually come from a business development background, uh, the sales side. So I like leads. I like things that make leads. Leads tend to make companies money. So uh, just looking at these, this page here, um, it's just a quick, this is everything we can do. This is how we help. These are companies we help. Let's see if this page is even still around. A couple of these I clicked on, they didn't open. There we go. And they have a try it for free. And you can just rebuild this easily inside Bubble. Yeah, try it free. So if I was gonna rebuild this, let's go in here. It's essentially an image, right? So we want our image at the top here of whatever size image that we're planning on putting there, right? So that's our banner that replicates that. On top of this, come on, stay open, there we go. On top of our banner, we would wanna put a button, right? Try it for free. And we could put text here that would say, this is a great product and you will love it. And I love you, please. Click below to try it. Great. So we build that quick page, right? So we have that on it um, going down. This is basically just a series of little parts, right? So if I click here, what's it going to do? It's going to take me to more info. Okay. Um, so it's just taking you to different lead pages that you would build with this and define each one. A couple other things you could do with it in Bubble is to also make it so you can click on web and it would do a drop down below it and it give a brief explanation below. Um, but you would just do a series of images here. I'll do shapes just to, because they'll actually show up more than an image. But say, I would have these images here, right? So that would replicate those. There we go. And then what else do we have here? There's another image with some more stuff in a little carousel. We could rebuild a carousel. I don't wanna go into the details in rebuilding a carousel in this video, cause I wanna just kinda, just go over like how you can rebuild a page pretty simply here from a design perspective, right? Um, and what you do is we do another image. I'll do another shape just so it's actually colored in. offer again um and maybe you have an offer button here uh, so that's kind of just rebuilding this really easily uh, looks like they even have another section below in this one that would just be 
more of these. There we go. So we've kind of replicated what that page looks like just with boxes now. And then if we go down a bit, um, let's see here. There's the happy customers, which is again, just a whole bunch more pictures we're gonna put in here of all the people we work with. And then there's also an offer here to try again, which would take you to the try again page. But say we also wanted to do something else. Say we wanted to say, um, demo or schedule a demo or get more information. And we will do a input. What we're trying to get here is email address. Should not be empty. And then we'll do another that is going to be name. And we'll do another one that will be phone number. Should not be empty. Great. And then I'll do a big button. We could even do a picture because you can have these pictures be things, right? So they could have a workflow attached where I would click and I would say navigate to a certain page and it would tell more about it on that page. Or I could have it so you click it and it makes it um, create a little drop down thing, which I can show too. But basically, this is that page we just looked at rebuilt very quickly in with some boxes just to show you how it could look. And then um, this button would be, help. this button would be, help me. Great, so this says help me. Uh, and the workflow on this one will be that we're gonna just create a new thing. We're going to create a, this is built in another site I use just to make stuff for YouTube. So ignore the rest of it. Lead. Actually, working in business development, we uh, I uh, I deal with leads a lot, and I like to tell my team that we um we can just shake the leady tree to get more leads. I think it's pretty funny. So hopefully, this will feed your leady tree, so you can get more leads for your company, and make more money. Tax. Oh, nope, actually, field will be, yeah, it's text. Great, so names, email, um, we have phone number in here. Let's do text there, perfect. So now we just have to dictate how the data is getting in, and this will be pretty quick. It's just input names, value, input emails, value. Oop, input phone numbers value. That'll help, great. And then basically that's gonna put it in the system. If you wanted to, if say you're working these really quickly, you could have it send an email and you could have this set to a designated email. So you could put like my my email at company that you work at .com, and you could set this up that it'll actually just send you an email. And this would be really smart to do because it's if you're calling these people especially, it's really good to shoot an email out to yourself um, that says, hey, this person signed up. Put your name or urgent, urgent lead. It's best to call people within five minutes of them signing up on your site anyway. It just increases your... Um, ability to convert them into an actual customer. So some tips on lead generation. Wonderful. Now we're talking about more than just bubble, but um, subject urgent, right? So this would go to ourselves. And then in here we can type whatever you want. And then we would also type in, you know, their phone number their email and their 
oops, name, it's value, right? So we want all these values in there too. I want gaps here, so, ah. Number, email, that should line up right. And then, where did the name go? Name. That way when I get the email, I see name, this, this, this. If I make multiple lead pages, I could tag what page it's on to. So I could put in the subject here, urgent lead capture interested in a demo. And I would know this is a lead that is interested in a demo. Great. So what I could also have it do is at the same time with this same email function is have it go ahead and just send an email to input emails value. I could attach a file here. So say I have it set. So here, download my free ebook. Well, that's what I would do on the page, right? So the page here could be, hey, this is my ebook. This is how it's helped people. Here's an image. Here's all the ways we've helped people. We make our series of little images here, little icons. These are all the people it's helped. Down here, got another picture here. This is how we help. Click here for an offer, right? So these are our free trial, free trial. This is, hey, if you haven't done it yet, here's a demo. Uh, and then we have just fill out this form, click help me, right? They click help me. Or if I'm doing the, the ebook thing, right? These are all the people we've helped. Uh, fill out this information. We'll give you a free ebook. This is how we'll help you for free. And then, then we'll just gather this information and then we will push help me, boom. And we want an email to go out that's going to sell them, hey, here's the ebook. So we can attach a file here and we would just go in and we can click and we can add a file. Um, we could add a file to the database um, that would allow us to pull that file in and use it and send that out. So pretty effective way to use this system. Um, you would just send to the sender, you type out how you want the body to be. You can use a rich text editor, make sure you reference their name and everything in here um, based on the inputs. Uh, it's a pretty easy thing to set up. It just feels, sometimes things feel more complicated when there's other products that just do the whole work for you. But yeah, this is a simple lead page you could use. It mirrors this pretty well. We just need to add some images and coloring. Obviously add a footer for a company that a company would have crossed everywhere. They've got this header here that they keep up. We could do that too pretty easily. But yeah, this is how I would do just a click funnel page. I would just look at what what is another company doing that does in my space that I'm pretty sure has a high conversion rate? What are they doing? What's working? Um, replicate that to an extent for my product and don't reinvent the wheel. You know, whenever you're trying to build something, a lot of people are like, well, I want to do it my way. But if you just look at what works, which is smart, like look at ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels works. How do you know ClickFunnels works? ClickFunnels works because thousands of companies use it. That's how we know it works. And this is the type of setup that they have. So why don't we set up our site like that? So we set up a site like this. This is pretty standard in the industry. It has offerings, has who we work with. Schedule a demo. Great. Oh, this was helpful. Um, it's a short video. I didn't add images and stuff in here just because I feel like that would have just taken extra time. And the main thing is functionality. And again, if you want to add stuff to these, each one of these can send to another page on your website easily just by going to navigation, go to page, whatever page you want. And so images can be clickable very easily, offer buttons, data capture, really depends on what your goal is. And um, just building this lead page is pretty simple. You could build another lead page, to another page that these fed into uh, on this. So if you wanted to make another page where leads go to where you as an admin can only see. Um, so maybe you have a login that's admin only, or you just go in the back end on bubble and you open up the page and you view it. Right. So what you can do is you would go in and you could say, let's make a repeating group. Content will be lead. And then we just want to 
drag over the data so we can see just like a list of all of these people. Current sales leads, name. Great, we can see their name. We can do the same thing for email, phone number there. We just have a lead list maybe. We're using it for calling, right? Or we just wanna see them coming in through the day. Most companies don't get enough coming in that you can just sit and just watch a list populate, but maybe you're big enough to do that. So just some little quick things you can do. I'm not sure, again, on the back end for uh, ClickFunnels, but you could also go in and you could make charts, right? So say when you had a lead come in, let me see here. Where is our, I think I called it ClickFunnel, bot ClickFunnel. It, say when we create this lead, right? Create new lead. We have this one tagged with a type or page, right? And the page will be current page name. We'll just type it in here um, for now. Put in whatever we want there. So we can then create a chart and then filter it. I have another. Um, I have another uh, court, or video on here where you can just go in and you can see how to make charts and stuff. Um, just simply making charts and graphs that can be pretty helpful. Um, but anyway, here, so it would say page name, right? So I put them in, it says page name. So I would put, say I have five of these on my website, right? I have five click funnels I'm driving people to. I wanna see which one's converting the most, bringing me in the most leads. I can then say, here is exactly what ones are bringing in how many. So I could do a chart that would show me how many leads I get in a day. I can do a chart that shows me how many leads I get in the day, and then I can make a filter for that that shows me which pages they came in at. And I can see this page brought in two, this page brought, brings in three, this page brings in four, or I could break it down by month and see month to month, which is doing better, so I know which pages to really invest my marketing money in. So hope this was helpful. Uh, I actually had fun making this video. So um, yeah, making a lead page is really easy. Making pages in Bubble in general is very easy. So I might actually use this template for a product I'm working on because I like the way it looks. Have a great day.